Hello, my name is Lorenzo Davis, and I'm 27 years old. I'm from Seattle, Washington, and today I'm just online because I want to talk about um, a guy by the name of Brother Polite, who's out of Brooklyn, um, New York, the Harlem area. Um, I've recently I've been listening to some of his uh, videos, and uh, he appears to be very uh, intelligent very much aware of uh, the comedic sciences, and I find that to be very uh, interesting, um, how uh, a young man um, in his position can go from being homeless to being on the streets um, as a gangster to being in prison. Um, I myself have been eight years um, incarcerated in a correctional facility. Um, I'm from Seattle, Washington, and a lot of guys who I've encountered up here uh, do not have uh, debates in that matter. They're not aware of themselves and what role um, Egyptian history plays um, in the world. Um, a lot of uh, white folk don't give credit to um, African contributions. The only thing that does is perpetuate white supremacy. Um, ideology. So the brothers who are taking a stand against this uh, mental um, inception, this mental uh, segregation and subjugation, um, I very much uh, credit them and uh, appreciate the role that they're playing in uplifting the minds of the people. When I look at Egypt, beautiful Africa, I am just astonished, I'm amazed, amazed on how they were able to construct um, their pyramids and align it with our lines and how they were able to master the arts and the crafts and the sciences of Imhotep, the father of medicine, and how the Egyptians were the first philosophers and how they have ethical princ principles uh, embedded it in, a, in the Book of the Dead and, and the concept of the yacht. I mean, all of these things uh, really um, inspire me, and it creates a, a certain level of self-esteem and identity within me, understanding and knowing that there were people that actually made contributions to society contrary to popular belief. If you even look at Socrates, who went to Africa and learned from the ancient mystery schools and the temples, and understood that a lot of the myths that were being propagated at that time were only representations of the natural science. When he went back to Greece, he started teaching people that, hey, these gods are not real. These gods are only mythological beings. These are stories, much like the Bible and Quran, and you have to understand the sciences in order for you to have a better understanding of yourself. He started to have debates and question people's preconceived notions and implicit biases, and this cultivated the minds and awareness of the youth and stirred the development and growth of democracy. I found these things to be very interesting when you look at the streets of Harlem and Brooklyn and how Brother Polite and the House of Consciousness is going around and they're talking about different subjects and ideology, giving people a diversity of views. Such is the nature of uh, any type of intellectual inquiry. And I really admire that. I'm just online to encourage other people to go do some research for yourself, watch a few videos by um, Brother Polite and uh, the House of Consciousness, and hopefully it will raise your level of awareness to a different understanding. I have no offense to um, religion ideology, but we know that religion has created uh, subjugation of um, all people in general, and it's been used to control and to bind those people to a certain construct. And what I find to be um, very um, um, irking to me and, and really oppressive is when I find black people who use a 
constructs um, of Islam, Christianity, African Hinduism, to try to reinterpret African ancient Kemetic history in that context. Um, it is very much like a mental uh, manipulation of different belief systems, and it undermines the African that paved the way for humanity to be where it is today. And not only that, it tends to stifle um, critical thought and analysis because it's presenting false truths. It's presenting fragmented ideologies. It's doing the same thing as Europeanism. It's doing the same thing by reconstructing the history that's not even true. If you look at Islam, Judaism, and Christianity, these are only representations of ancient comedic history, ancient comedic sciences. It's only shadows. And for my own part, I would rather learn from the people that started the whole process rather than look at these fragmented stories because I'm only doing a great disservice to me as well as the community in which I live. So um, that's pretty much it. I just thought that I would share that with you guys. Hopefully this uh, short video will be inspiring. If you have any questions or comments, you can email me at Lorenzo D. I mean dog925 at gmo.com. Thank you.